Stay tuned, we'll show you more auction items in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to take, back, take a step back in a time. Well, not that far back, just a few weeks back to Wayne Stock 2015. Maybe you were there. It was by far the largest Wayne Stock ever and increased the population in St. Mary's by the thousands. As people from as far away as Canada drove into here national acts like Sanctus Real, Plum, I Am They. Even our own Hannah Beck was part of the lineup for an incredible day of praise and worship. Jennifer spent the day at Wayne Stock as well, and during all the activity, she found time to catch up with another local band who is finding success on a larger scale. She is with City of Bright, formerly known as Sela and Shekinah Band. I'm backstage at Wayne Stock, and guess who I found? City of Bright is here. A lot has changed since we last had them on TV44, a name change, new EP, all kinds of great things have been happening. Sayla, Shekinah, and Jesh are here. Give me an update on the way God is just opening doors for you guys. He has. In the past year, we've been down to Nashville and recording our new EP, and it's just been a season of change for us, but it's been a good new season. So, Give me the heart behind this EP. I, I heard you talk from stage about how this is a little bit different than what you've had in the past, but really how you feel God's moving. Yeah, it's just songs of hope. We just want people to feel and when they hear our music to feel the hope that God has for them and so and stylistically it's a little different too because we used to have more of an acoustic sound now it's a little bit more synth pop so it's fun. She kind of went to tell me a little bit about Ichthus Festival you guys were down there recently on the main stage which was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah that was that was super awesome actually it was probably the biggest stage we've ever played on before so it was really great to be able to be there with all the other fellow bands as well and just see all the people and meet everyone it was a huge festival so it was really it was a great experience for sure. It's been fun for us, you know, locally in Northwest Ohio to watch and see how, how God is evolving your ministry. Jess, is this what you ever thought it would be when you started? Um, not really, but it's definitely an eye-opener, so, yeah. Well, it's fun to watch the pictures of you on the drums. I've seen them on Facebook a little bit. So what's coming up next? What's the near future and what's long term for you guys? Uh, we have a pretty booked fall so far, so we're just going to keep getting out there and getting the new EP out there. And then we're planning to have a spring tour, so that's what's ahead for us next. <laughs> and if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way? Uh, cityofbright.com. Right on the homepage, we have all the links to all our social media sites, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, everything. It's right there in one place. <laughs> all right, the new EP is out. If you don't have it yet, I encourage you to, to purchase it. Check them out at one of their recent shows. Just awesome to see how God has taken this sibling group and doing great things with their musical talent. Back to you.